You're kicking it with G on your favorite station. The perfect station. 92 KELZ, the only station with new music, new artists, new sound. Hey, we back in this thing, man. This time it ain't raining, the sun is out. But hey, we got a guest right back in this building. Sharia Quarles is in the building with Cherry on Top You Foundation. How y'all doing? Hey. Good, you. What's happening? We just going to introduce everybody all the way from the left to the right. We got Lee Lee. Hey. <laughs> of course, y'all know Ri Ri. <laughs> Nevaeh. Yes. And we have Rambo. What happened? What happened? What's me? going on, man? What y'all got going on, man? Who you want me to talk? Everybody. Whoever want to talk. Who want to talk? <laughs> I'm going to talk. <laughs> All right. This Saturday. <laughs> this Saturday we're having a redo. Sure. Recent event. Mm -mm. I'm good. Mm -mm. Hold on. Make sure the beat. Hold on. Make sure y'all can hear me. Mic check. Mic check. You got me? Go ahead. All right, we, this Saturday we're having our redo recess event. It's for adults only. I'm going to play basketball, dodgeball, volleyball, relay races. We're going to have an ultimate water gun fight. It's going to be real fun. And we're using all those funds to take teens on a cruise to Cozumel, Mexico. And this cruise is free. So we need all your support. We need you to come on out, have a good time for a good cause. Man, so y'all going to, so when are y'all actually leaving? It's Thanksgiving, November 21st through the 25th. Oh, that's a long little trip right there. Mm -hmm. Who really want to spend away from Thanksgiving to go on a cruise, though? Everybody. I, it's free food. They don't care about the family. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say. <laughs> that's exactly they, what it is. They in Mexico. They worry about their dressing. Yeah. Don't yeah. nobody cook no more. Right. Who don't cook no more? My mama do. And my grandma. So they see, you see what I'm saying? Look, but, but you're missing me. You're not know, getting coached up on how to cook because eventually I'm going to be having to cook, too. Man, talk, say that again in the I mic. Say it in the mic. Eventually, you're going to be the grandma and the auntie. In the mic. Oh, eventually, you're going to be the grandma and the auntie, so you're going to have to cook, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. 20, 30 years from now. Yep, hey. Cherry on top. Do that, too, plug. We teach cooking classes, plug. Mm -hmm. Oh, so y'all on top of it, then. So oh, y'all yeah. got every grant. So are y'all... So life on, skills. Well, that is a life, life skill. skill. Cooking mm -hmm. is a life skill. It needs to be, because a lot of people don't know how to cook it's these 20, days. 30 years from now, we ain't going to have nothing but some little hot wings, <laughs> rotel dip. Hey, that's you know it. <laughs> ain't going to be no dip. giblet gravy, no rice, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all even know what that is? Giblet gravy? Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't like See, that. Oh, don't know what giblet gravy like, is, you, you know what I'm right? saying? <laughs> Cooking classes, are they winning or are they failing? What you mean are they winning? If they don't know what giblet gravy Man, is. This, no, this cherry on top, we always win, but we're not going to teach no kids about no giblet gravy. Why not? Why not? I mean, we want them to be alive by the time they're 60. Man, giblet gravy, they ain't do the clock a few hours. They'll be all right. No, oh, we can't, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I got you here to talk about your, uh, your recess event that y'all have coming up. So what is that about? So, basically, I'm a PE teacher by mm. day. That's how I make my money. And we do fundraisers all the time. So, I was trying to do something innovative. Like, how can we raise funds where it seems like people not put, like, getting a lot of money out their pocket? Like, they're getting something for giving. Mm -hmm. I always want to think about the giver, you know, as well. So, I was like, man, we need to just have fun. There's a lot going on in the world. Horrible administration. Let's have fun. So, the Redo Recess came about. All we're going to do is just go out there and play. Mm -hmm. Got the T-shirts where you can write your name on it. And so hopefully some, you know, people can keep their wigs secure. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, the men can be, you know, bought. So is this the first event? This is, no. The I first mean, recess Yeah, event this is our first one. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about this one. Hey, that might be a good thing, though, because it ain't too many, I guess, events where you can say, where it's adult interaction. I right, guess you right. would say outside. I guess you had, like we were saying, you had that family interaction when you're doing mm -hmm. it, but never a stranger thing. Yeah, so yeah. all the folks that's planning on participating, make sure you get some Pedialyte in you the night before, some water, make sure you come out there hydrated, because if you pass out, we ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? You know that <laughs> takes the heat, get real. So I know you you hosting the event, right, Randall? Yeah, yeah. So how did you come about hosting the event? I mean, uh, it came through, like, a referral, you know, like a networking type uh, mm -hmm. thing, you know what I'm saying? So when I heard about it, I was like, okay, and I did my research. I was like, yeah, I got to be, I got to support that. You know, yeah. they, they teach the kids life skills about traveling mm -hmm. and all this stuff for free. So that's major to me. So, of course, I was going to support that. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came up on it. So how do you host a, a recess event? So you out there pumping people up, passing out water? Which yeah, I mean. so <laughs> I, got a, I got a background in, um, uh, in training. You know, yeah. so I ran, I ran group fitness classes for like two years. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. So it's all about just keeping the people involved, you know, having an itinerary, 
you know, stick it to the schedule. You know, we're we going to play dodgeball at two. We're going to play dodgeball at two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hoop at one. We're going to hoop at one. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just keeping everybody – it's just keeping structure to the mm -hmm. the whole event, basically. And, Ree, what are, um besides dodgeball and basketball, what other events can people expect? You talking about as far as fundraising? No. Well, I'm, well at the – the recess event, what all events oh, yeah. besides basketball and dodgeball oh, can they Oh, basketball. Expect? We're going to have volleyball, dodgeball, relay races like potato sack race. For, uh, we're going to have long distance. We're going to have some. Long distance. Ooh, no. Ooh, yeah, yeah, like full court. Because like <laughs> it's, it's at the gym. We're going to have indoor and outdoor. It's at the gym. The only outdoor we're going to do is when we had a water fight at the end. Mm. I will oh, have okay. some board games. We're going to have hula hoops for people who, you know, don't want to be too active, but. Something for everybody. We even have a dance team coming, Dance Infinity. Oh, that'd be dope. So we're going to reverse the situation. So instead of, since we old and we playing, we're going to have a little young dance team oh, come okay. out hmm. and cheer all those old people on. I, so, yeah. I think that'll be pretty dope. I mean, yep. get everybody involved yep. in that. Live DJ as well. Yeah, we're going to have about four gallons of bow freeze, a couple gallons of ice hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a masseuse on deck. <laughs> First aid no, kit. Yeah, you know. <laughs> The, the muscles don't move like they used to. Yeah, you get. <laughs> hey, so are y'all giving away prizes at this event, or is it just you better just come out and just play and enjoy yourself? No, it's 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 recess, so you're gonna get ribbons. It's just, basically you're gonna picture field day when you was in elementary school, oh, but, but just, now oh. we like forty pounds bigger. And, okay, you know. now it comes it comes like that. Now I can see exactly yeah, what you're saying. Okay, yeah. that might be dope then. It might. Come on. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you got to think about it. It's outside. How many No, it's inside. Oh. It's indoor. Oh, well, that may change the game then. It's the indoor. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once folks find the AC, they're like, all right, uh, we well, might be all right. Yeah. I told yeah. you I think about the people. That's a good move because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because there definitely would have been some people passing out out there. Yeah, only we're going to go outside at the very end. We're going to end it like black party style mm -hmm. and have a big old water gun fight. Then everybody can go home. So what made you think about this event? Like, how did you come up with this idea? Because uh, I'm smart. I'm, of course, I mean. Yeah. Now, uh, like I said, I love sports. I'm a PE teacher, so to me, I could think about it in my sleep. I don't know. I've been thinking about this for a few years. At mm. one point, I was thinking about doing it on the entrepreneur side and, like, take adult recess, like, different states, Austin, all over the place. But because I have the nonprofit, it's hard to juggle so much. Oh. So I was like, okay, well, let's just use this to ra raise the funds for the crews. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been working on it? The the event. I, I mean, I thought about this when I was like twenty five, but I don't know really what happened. One day uh, we had a, a what was it? The Halloween. So we had a Halloween fundraiser one time, like two two or three years ago, and it was dope. Like we had. We actually had it in the office building. We set, we shut the whole floor down. Mm -hmm. We had honey rooms. We had all kind of stuff, and it was a good turnout. So I was like, okay, next time I come back, I got to come back harder. Mm -hmm. Our fundraisers, I want it to be the best charity fundraising events in Houston, period. I definitely think it is, especially, I mean, not just with that, but just to the fact that uh, the, youth found, the youth foundation that you have, the center that's taking kids, you know, out of the country, doing certain things. Like, yeah. to me, I still think that's a, a huge thing because a lot of people wouldn't even see it if, like you said, if you weren't taking them, their parents weren't going to take them, you know what I mean? So for you to step up and do that, I mean, that's a big thing. Yeah. So to hear from some of your youth, Lily, Nevea, how do y'all feel? Oh, I'm super excited. Like, um... Like, first of all, that sounds fun, like the recess and everything, and obviously I want to help, like, volunteer, like, you know, pass out some waters and everything. But the cruise itself, like, it's going to be dope to, like, experience new things with, like, teams I've never met before, because I don't know her personally. Like, I just, like, I've, like, I've seen her before, but I just, like, met her today, basically. Oh, so y'all just met today? Yeah, oh, just about. Mm -hmm. And then, like, well, they're actually one of the boys that's coming is my best friend, because I told him about the site. And so, like, we're super excited because we both got accepted. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be fun to, like, experience new things with different teams we never met before, you know, just traveling the world, too. That's a good thing. Well, I'm excited because I've never been to Mexico before. So mm -hmm. I, I want to – I've seen, like, I watch YouTube and see all these other, like, YouTube people travel the world and – do all this other stuff and I'm like oh that looks really cool like this is something I would want to do like I want to travel the world like I want to be everywhere in the whole entire world before I die mm -hmm. so for me to have this opportunity to go for free 
at 15 is like major. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm very, I'm really, really excited about that. I'm excited to see the culture, like the water, the nature. Mm. I love nature. So the food. Food. Oh yes, food. <laughs> How can I forget? I'm ready to eat. I'm probably gonna gain like 30 pounds, <laughs> but it's cool. So what can y'all say to y'all peers, you know, especially when y'all want to do something positive instead of doing, you could be doing on numerous of other other things, you know what I mean, that could have been not so in a good light. But, like, mm -hmm. to some people, like, listening right now, like, little kids, like, what would you say to them to keep continuing down a positive road? Um, just stay, like, staying active is a good thing to, like, you know, go out and find a youth organization, like, or find, like, activity that somebody's doing out of nowhere, you know, go to the Boys and Girls Club, I don't know. Like, it's just fun to like, meet new people, like hang out with teams, step out of your comfort zone kind of, you know. Mm. You don't gotta step too far, like, but you gonna meet new people. Would you, you say know? it's kind of hard to step out of your comfort zone now? Um, I think it's easier now, like, <clears throat> cause my people always tell me like, you kinda, you out good, you'll be fun, blah, blah, blah. and I sometimes I'll be like, Mm, no, no, I ain't. Like, no, I don't want to go. No, I ain't going to Twitter. No. Because I just like, you know, sometimes I'm just like, no. But they always tell me I'm not going. And then, you know, you, you go out and meet, and then you figure out that you probably something that you never thought you were. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then when you like, like meeting her wasn't so hard. Like, I'm just nervous. Oh, I'm about to meet this girl. But it was cool. Like, you just, hey, like, hey, we're about to be hanging out like for a whole week anyway. Yeah. You know? About to be your best friend on that boat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> for so how do you? I mean, how do you go about like reaching out to the youth and different kids? Like, do you just accept every like everybody like from all over, or does like you get referrals through parents? No, it's an application process. So mm -hmm. you just, as far as the crews, you just go on the website. We post, we put it on Facebook, and then anybody can show up. I mean, we accept all. As far as the crews, you did have to write an essay. Mm -hmm. So if you want, I mean, they can explain and tell you what they wrote. But you wrote an essay. <coughs> it's anybody. We do have. Josh, he's going. He's from San Antonio. And Donald's going. Who is it? What did I do? Oh, my hmm. bad. <laughs> and, yeah, so anybody could apply. But, yeah, I think that's about it. Anybody can apply. Mm -hmm. So anybody that, I mean. That's a long teenager. As, they, as long as they write an essay, anybody could have went on the cruise. We had, we had a questionnaire, mm -hmm. write the essay, submit it. And I think the deadline was like March 30th or something like that. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. And we just go through the process of reading everybody's essay. If it's 150 words or uh, more, you, that's the first step. I mean, we did have a lot of teens, which is unfortunate, who didn't even, I mean, wrote two or three sentences. And when I look at that, it shows that it's, you have an opportunity right here. This is a blessing for you. You're not even capitalizing on it. So eventually, I want to make sure that um, in the future, when kids do or teens do apply for something, they don't complete the application process, we reach out to them and get them to complete it. Hmm. So just explain them certain things that they went wrong and show them how to mm -hmm. get through the process. Because oh, that's, that's cool. at like times that. when you do that, I mean, as an adult, you apply for something and you may make a mistake. You mm -hmm. don't necessarily get feedback. And I feel like feedback is like a tool to help you be successful mm -hmm. if you know what you're doing wrong. And how many times uh, out the year do you try to take trips? We go every other year. Now I would go, I would go. We would go yearly if we could. But mind you, this is free, so that's pretty unique what we're doing. So mm -hmm. it takes a lot to raise raise the funds. So yeah. for people actually listening that can get involved, like how could you know? What I mean, they become a help and get involved with you know helping you raise money to get you know the youth out and to you. Know I mean, get you I guess expand on different programs. Instead of you just doing cooking, I mean, you, I'm just saying you don't do just cooking, but no, nah, we like. I mean, just <laughs> do your research and to add more programs to the things that you're already doing. Really, just go on the website. You can sign up to volunteer. We're partnering with VolunteerHouston.org, mm -hmm. so they do all the background check. They do everything, and really, they just send you to our site. And really, more than the money than giving, it is exposure. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we'll have parents or people volunteer and they have kids but they don't necessarily allow their kids for whatever reason to participate mm -hmm. um really that's what we need to work on too if you're going to volunteer as a parent and you have a child don't leave them at home bring them out because this is for them so that's one way another way is sharing like social media share we have we we should have had more kids apply than we did i definitely agree yeah but a lot of times our parents, just to be honest, they, 
you prevent your child from doing certain things for whatever reason, but I say, you know, if it's an opportunity, go ahead and let your child participate. Did they need a parent to apply? I mean, you have to have a guardian. We need guardian mm -hmm. information. The parents have to accept, like, um, sign permission slip. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I just didn't know, you know, on some application, I didn't know if they could go through it themselves, and then after they go through, you reach out to their parents if they put the information, just once, tell them that they... Once we pick them, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. So how was the process for y'all? I just, like, I was in my room, my sister texted me, and I was like, oh, snap. I went to that website. <laughs> <laughs> I snapped out. I just, like, did everything super fast. I got to the essay. I was like, sis, I don't know what to write. Mm -hmm. I should I write because I really want to go. Mm -hmm. So she was just like... You know, like how you feel. And I just like thought about, you know, what I told y'all, mm. like experiencing new things mm. with different people, you know, traveling the world. That's you know, what I wrote about. Yeah, same for me. I think I came home one day after school, and actually she reminded me, and um, she was like, um, "Could no?" Actually, I seen the um, the thing, the flyer or something on on social media, and I was like, "Ooh." I need to hurry up and do it because I've been procrastinating because of my schoolwork and I was like, ooh, I'm going to hurry up and write this. So I was like sitting in my room on my bed on my computer. I'm like, okay, what what should I write? Like, I I write, like I write mm -hmm. normally. Like, I'm having a little writer's block right now, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I was, it was, I had a hard time thinking because I was so blocked, mm -hmm. like from everything going on around me. So, but it, it came, like, it just came, started flowing, like, I was just like, I want to, basically everything I told y'all, like she said, I want to travel, I want to see new people, new things, like, to go out of the country to see somewhere else, like, I could live here when I'm older, like, it's, it's like, good to see stuff outside of where you live, like, mm. You you come when you live somewhere for so long you don't get to experience this other things like that's all you know like you it's a whole mm -hmm. world out there mm -hmm. that you don't even know about yeah so I'm ready to experience as much as I can okay that's a good thing so how did you convince the parents to let their kids go with you I don't convince the parents is free <laughs> so Ooh, it's if, stressful so, so if the parents Ooh, want to go they can go you you really want to talk about this yes let's talk about well, it well man. Parents, please help a sister out. Like, it's difficult. I'm going to say that. I mean, it's worth it, but it's difficult. Um, really, the kids have to convince the parents. The The first time we went, I will say this. It was the first time, and it was horrible because I got a lot of back and forth with parents. Like, one parent would say yes, then they'll say no, yes, no, and that became stressful, but it helped me. Like I said, feedback is good. We made sure, like in the application and the permission slip process, mm -hmm. that if if the parents back out with their children for whatever reason, that they will have to replace those funds. Because like I said, I'm always thinking about the people who give. Mm -hmm. I, I, I appreciate every cent. So if somebody's going to give and donate, then we, we have to follow through. So those funds have to be replaced, and I know that that helps. I was just going to ask you that question about the funds. Like if somebody counts at last minute, could those funds go back into the organization to do other things? Yes, exactly. So, mm. yeah, parents will have to pay for it if they pull out. Mm. So if they – let's just say if they want – oh, that's if they pull out. If they it, say, okay, say a week before we head now, my child can't go. They will have to repay So if a parent funds. wants to go, they have to pay for their own way there, Yes, correct? we don't pay for parents. That's a good, let's put that out there. Parents, we ain't paying for you. <laughs> no, no, but we do encourage parents to help raise funds. I mean, it really, it's a collective, it, depending on how unified we are. If parents really help their kids raise the funds, if we get more than enough, sure, we'll be willing. Because, you know, people get real slick out here. Well, my kid going to see underage, I need to be with her. If you're going to take her, I need to go. Well, ma'am, yeah. none of y'all can go. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> That's no, what I would say. No, it's I just different. It's Really, it's just different because we're local, because kids at school go on school trips all the time. Mm -hmm. I see it. I'm a teacher myself. It, it, kids go to Paris. They go to New York, and they go with sponsors with teachers at the school. Now, to me, the difficult part is because it's free, I feel like the respect factor is a little different. Mm -hmm. If a parent was paying monthly out of the pocket and it was time to leave, 
that mm-hmm. kid would go. Yeah. But because we're doing this and we're being so generous and so kind, a lot of times you get pushback. So, but that's okay. It's kind of, I mean, I definitely understand like your frustration because it is getting hard for people to sign up for certain memberships when you can get certain things throughout the year. They, you know, everybody wants instant gratification, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They don't want to wait for things to develop, for things to get better. Mm-hmm. So I can, de- I definitely understand certain frustrations when it comes, you know what I mean, to that. Yeah. But um, we, I love parents. I love my parents. We just, it's just the marriage, you know, a mm-hmm. push and pull situation. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. So Rambo. Yo. Let's talk about you. I know you've been sitting over there for a minute. I ain't <laughs> said nothing to you, but how did you, let's just talk about how did you start getting into comedy? So, uh, I actually lost a bet. <laughs> yeah, so we was, uh, couple, me and a couple of my friends, we was drinking or whatever. And you know how you shotgun a beer? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I should be talking about this with the kids. Be, again, you be but, real. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I shotgun a beer and I lost or whatever. So the deal was if I lose, I had to go do at least five minutes on stage. So I lost and I held up my end of the bargain. So I went down to St. Dane's, downtown Houston, uh, around the Midtown area. And uh, I got up that idea five minutes, and I got booked after my first time being on stage. So. Hey, that's pretty dope. Yeah, so that's how I got Was you in. nervous, though? Yeah, I was nervous. My set, you could, you could tell I was new, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because I was just kind of like all over the place or whatever. I hadn't really, I didn't write nothing. So it is a strategy, too. It's, a, it's definitely a strategy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's a lot that goes into it. It's, a, it's an art, you know, it's a science to it or whatever. But, uh, yeah, at that point, I would just... Just reckless. I was just going off the dome, or whatever. So <laughs> now I got. I'm a little more relaxed. I'm a little more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um, I still try to, you know, my niche in comedy is energy. Mm-hmm. You know, so when I'm on that stage, I'm just trying to all energy, like yeah. just hyped up the whole time. I ain't one of them comics that just kind of uh, just chill and, you know, kind of you kind of got to listen to me. Yeah. I'm just gonna bring the energy the whole time I'm up there. Whatever. So you turned it almost to a full time profession already. Well, that's oh, it's what, getting there. Yeah, it's getting there, you know. So, like, uh, you know, I got a full-time job. You know, I, I'm a manager at Amazon mm-hmm. or whatever. So, taking, you know, allocating funds. You know, I've started a couple businesses up because at this point in comedy, you got it's, it's self-funded, mm-hmm. right? Ain't nobody just, uh, ain't no talent scouts just pulling up the shows no more. Ain't nobody pulling up the mics no more. Just, hey, hey, he funny. Let's, mm-hmm. let's put him, let's send him to L.A. So, Man, I think that's important that you're saying that because a lot of yeah. people don't say that. You know what I mean? People just like, hey, you can just quit whatever just as long as you follow nah, your passion man. and dream, man. Nah, nah man. man you, I mean, <laughs> you know? Man, I seen people do that, and then it, it, it turns out even worse for them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but me, uh, I'm a true, like, comic head, like, comedian. So, like, I used to get caught, you know, when I was younger. BT coming, view the volume all the way down, mm-hmm. sitting real close to the TV. My mama coming, but you supposed to be asleep or whatever. So... <laughs> Like I'm always, you know, respect that stage. Yeah. So, but uh, like this, this is very important. That's it, and that's why I support it. Cause mm-hmm. learning life skills like communicating. I've been in Detroit. I've been in Chicago. I've been, uh, you know, I've been all over. Mm-hmm. And being able to simply communicate with another human being is so important. Cause you know you got so many people that get stuck in their box. Yeah. You know they yeah. their parents never forced them to you know go talk to the cashier in the grocery store. You know, that's where it starts at. You know, you got to go in there. You got to talk to somebody to get what you need. Man, I don't know if it's just me or if you, have y'all ever just walked somewhere like it could be our own people and yeah. the, it, nothing is going on, but the air is just stiff. I have no idea why. Yeah. I don't know what we can do as people. I don't know if everybody got to smile everywhere they go constantly oh, for the honestly, air, they like for it yeah. to calm down. But you could walk somewhere and it could just be like, man, I don't even really feel like I'm supposed to be up over here. Yeah, man. Me, <laughs> see, me, I don't do well with like awkward silences and stuff like that. So I break the ice. You know, I'm going a, I'm to a make you speak. I'm going to make yeah. you talk to me. You know, it's going to be a, a soft approach. And it's gonna be like welcoming, but mm. I ain't just gonna sit right in no in no thick air like that. You yeah. know, uh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it be like that. For I'm real. friendly. <laughs> I don't experience that. I'm friendly everywhere I go. People yeah. talk. To I don't me. know, cause sometimes your looks it be oh real thick. Oh my god, thick. you give me a hard yeah. time. <laughs> I, man, I'm friendly. I be smiling all the time. <laughs> yeah. Nah, but um, but yeah, but before we get up out of here, man, I just thank y'all for coming out here. But any information y'all want to give away your social media website. Uh, future dates for anything, y'all go ahead and do it now. 
gonna go Lily? Oh, look and look at this. Look, y'all y'all have to donate because look, we had the teens in here. Mm. That's another life skill. So public mm. speaking. So everything we do is with intention. So make sure you donate and support. I need you guys. Where can they donate at? Cherryontop.org. That's C H E R R I E on top dot org. Got what? Got what? She, you, yo, oh yeah. She, I ain't got, I ain't she got don't no have Instagram. Yet. Oh, good, good. <laughs> no, yo, well, no, we ain't giving no ki- Rambo <laughs> and Rambo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Y'all probably don't know, know who listen. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. You can follow um the Cherry on Top page, Cherry on Top Youth Center on IG, Facebook. My personal page is. Miss Sharia, what is it? Miss I yeah, yeah, I always forget. Miss underscore Sharia Q. That's S H A R E A Q. Yeah. Cool. You can follow me on Instagram at Rambo Too Funny. That's R A A M B O, the number two funny. You can add me on Facebook, R Rambo T O O Funny. So. Yeah. Bet that is. Yeah. I could do it. I could do a shout out. Go ahead. Cause it's a lot of people that's helping, like Rambo. Go ahead. Man, special thanks to Rambo, special thanks to our DJ, Jermaine, Patience. Patience is like my co-business partner, everything, best friend, all of that. Couldn't do this without her. Um, all the parents, everybody who's supporting, a lot of the um, people who have already bought tickets. I just want to shout out everybody who, oh, I see, I'm sorry on my live. But, yeah, everybody <laughs> who's uh, supporting me, thank you, and I really appreciate it. And let's get these kids in Mexico. Do- I can do a shout out go too. Ahead, go ahead. Hey, shout out to my little cub, Pookie Dumb out there in the Ville, man. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my big brother Munchie, you know, man. Shout out to my partner, little Daryl. Shout out to everybody in the coming with Woot Woot, Blase Blase. Shout out to you expeditiously. <laughs> <laughs> man, we out of here, man. We finna get into this break, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Before we get up, and we're gonna come back, get up written on these credit scores. You're kicking it with G on your favorite station. The perfect station. 92 KELZ, the only station with new music, new artists, new sound.